Hello and welcome. Today I have with me an analog multimeter. As you can see here, this is an analog multimeter. This is the first multimeter that I brought 7 10 years ago. And you can see that the probes that came with it, they have been through a lot of use. They have burned, they have loosened, they have to be repaired and everything. I don't use it anymore. Now I use a better one, a digital multimeter. But just to show you what an analog multimeter really does or looks like. First let's tear it down, see what's inside. There was basically two screws, two tiny screws. I have even lost the original screws. See two screws on both sides <coughs> and it's a metal enclosure and the rest is plastic so it's basically everything is analog there is no circuit just one single battery for one purpose measuring the resistance and everything else does not even require a battery like the voltage or the current none of that require a battery how you take the reading is uh, first let's see how you adjust it it has <coughs> from 10 volts to 1000 volts AC although I'm not sure if it can handle 1000 volts or, or 500 volts and also 10 volt to 1000 volt DC and same I don't think uh, it can handle these two but I have tested uh, it can actually show you up to uh, our mains voltage is about 230 volts it doesn't die if I plug it in and it has a current me uh, emitter and a resistance meter I mean <coughs> you can measure resistance with it from uh, 1 mega ohm and uh, two scale you have two scales 1 mega ohm and 100 kilo ohm and uh, the current has up to 100 milliamps uh, which isn't very useful it's useful for very small projects very very small projects and the way this thing works is that you have a you have a uh, electromagnet and a needle the needle is as you can see it's, it's it just keeps jumping around it's so light it's very light it keeps jumping around, jumping around. and uh, what what happens is uh, the 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 reading are all dependent on these resistors these are maybe 1% or 0 0.5 percent tolerance uh, resistors which means they have a uh, high accuracy so how this works uh, I, I bet you can understand this that it causes the that electromagnet causes the needle to swing and it shows you a scale and this is the whole uh, dial where you can see the markings uh, up there you see that one mega ohm here you can see this is the one mega ohm and 100 kilo ohm that's for these and then these are the voltage and this is the voltage scale the needle actually jumps to let's say this point when the needle jumps to this point uh, you will understand that it's 5 volt if uh, you have set it to 10 volt so there is 10 volt uh, scale and 50 volt up all the way there you have to make a lot of guess when using this it can measure a lot of things uh, there, uh, this is the manual that came with it as you can see I had to tape it that's why it's still here otherwise it would have been destroyed uh, at the first multimeter uh, this one uh, I was excited so I read a lot read it a lot of times the whole manual and it has it has to be adjusted to the uh, zero with this with this this is a manual adjustment there are two adjustments you have to make before taking a reading this one and this one this one can uh, adjust this needle up to the zero this uh, this line 
this zero and this one adjusts the last one uh, from here here you have one adjustment and here, here you have another let's put it together so the, prob the probes are plugged in and uh, here I, I can show you how this thing actually gives you a reading first let's adjust it to zero the needle is right now not on zero I have to move it until I get that exact exactly on top of zero from my uh, direct uh, directly from my line of sight this is the first adjustment and then we put it to a scale let's say 100 kilo and then again we short the leads and we see that uh, it's supposed to be at zero but it is not so we use this potentiometer for ad adjusting that to zero and there we have it it's ready for measurement here I have a 220 ohm resistor let's measure it it's 200 it's showing you that 200 scale it's supposed to be 220 I guess if I use a digital multimeter like this one and do the same this one is auto ranging so I don't even have to adjust anything or nothing just I just have to turn it on and then measure it This was not plugged in. Now it's plugged in. Here, bang on 220. If you can see, I hope you can see. It's showing 220.5. So the only advantage that the analog multimeter has over the digital is probably the frequency meter, where you'd get to actually see uh, from where the frequency jumps like from the pulsing if I could show you that um, I don't currently have the circuit to show you that otherwise an analog multimeter is a pain in the ass don't buy analog multimeters unless you're really really like a fan of analog multimeters this uh, this was manufactured by Hanaya a Chinese brand this is a very common multimeter and this uh, top yeah display on the, uh, this top part is actually glass it is glass not plastic it is really hard to scratch so with that I hope you understand um, what analog multimeters uh, were back in the days and why you shouldn't buy them anymore this was just uh, my first multimeter so I kept it I think I'm going to keep it for a while. Well then, see you.